He said it was gonna happen. He promised me the Chris Craft. The last time I saw Max, I was freezing in Chicago. It was probably the coldest I've ever been in my life. I'm in Annapolis, Maryland. What's up, Max? Alfred, how are you doing, my friend? Oh my goodness, what a beauty. I was actually doing the main video. I was doing a walking tour video and you caught me <laughs> and you said, come by. Smell and your face. So, your face. so tell me, this is a Chris Craft and you work with Chris Craft, right, Max? Yes, sir. Oh, he called me sir. I feel old, guys. All right, Max, don't yes, worry sir. about it. So I'm the regional sales director for Chris Craft Boats. So we're here in Annapolis, Maryland with uh, Bosun's Marine. So they're our dealer for this area. Uh, right now we have our launch 35 GT. This boat's equipped with triple 300 Mercuries. And this is painted in our beautiful fountain blue metallic paint with a midnight blue gel stripe. Absolutely beautiful boat. It takes luxury day boating to another level. So want to take a look? Yeah, absolutely. Let's jump on board. Let me take off my shoes real yep, quick yep, and and uh, let's go ahead and see this. So what model is this, Max? This is the Launch 35 GT. So we have four models in this series. So we started the 25, go to 28, 31, and 35. So the 35 is our biggest boat in the line. Wow, first perception, I walk in and I feel so much space. Yep, I feel open, like I can, you can stretch out, nothing, you're not gonna hit anything. Nope. So I already see why that's happening, right? Yep, yep. You got features like this that you can just close up. Yep, so we have a fold-out table here, really nice entertaining space right here, good social zone. So this table folds away, um, out of the way for everything, so we don't have any extra parts moving around or anything like that. So we have a really nice space, nice little summer kitchen in this area with a nice electric grill, refrigerator over here, and also another refrigerator underneath as well. So wow. a lot of space, a lot of space, a lot of features. A lot of details. Sure shade under, up, up above you. Okay, so nice sure shade, for those that don't know, guys, this will basically extend out and it'll give you some shade at the press of a button. So he's going to press that button? You know. Yep. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll do that we'll, later. We'll, we'll do, do that, that later. later. <laughs> All right, so tell me what we got going on here because this is where the juice is, is happening. Absolutely. So this is our helm station. So we have twin Garmin screens. So everything is C-zone operated. So every electrical switch, you know, you can basically operate the whole boat from these switches. So okay. you still have some hard switches over here on the right part. But this is your helm area. We have, you know, a couple classic gauges, you know, that are also digital readout. Joystick is standard on this boat with DTS. This is so nice. Let me tell you, one of the things that I, I remember at the Chicago show, and every time I see a Chris Craft, the attention to detail is on another level. Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys, you could tell the people love working for this brand because if not, you wouldn't see the finishes that you see today, guys. Look at this, more. Our employees love building these, so we, we enjoy them. Every, everyone that leaves the factory is very, very special. I got a feeling you're gonna blow my mind in a second, so what do we got? <laughs> So up here in the bow, we have a really nice big area that we can, you know, kind of relax in. So we have some flip down armrests. We have storage underneath everywhere. And where I'm standing on, I'm not going to show you because I'd rather you guys come see it for yourself. This table electronically goes up, you know, so it acts as a table and then also act as a little filler cushion. To make nice a layout. Area. Nice. Yep. yep. But a really a lot of room, lots to do. Windless option on this guy? Yes, sir. Yep. So we have a, we have a nice hatch up here. We got right that. Here. So right. we have a nice windless anchor over here with the nice beach boarding ladder. Nice. So you can come in from, from the bow as well. Yep. So that also too, so you see this is real teak. So this is a heritage trim edition on this boat. So the foredeck and the covering boards and the swim platform are all real teak. You can also do a full teak floor as well on here. Very beautiful. Nice. And the finishes guys are on another level. I like this here that you can just lay out. This is probably the best seat in the house, huh? Yep, absolutely. One of the seats. I see that there's there's a door there under the yep. helm. We have a mid cabin. We have a mid cabin. You want to come this way? Oh, you're going to yep, press yep, something? Yep, What's going way? on here? No, it opens up a different way. Oh, I'm here thinking it goes. Yep. No, we have I'm here nice... thinking the door's here. <laughs> wow. Close that again. I want to see how yep. I missed that. So, yep. Wow. So we're kind of concealed, so our latch right here. Yeah, the, open. Yeah, that is right, so crazy. I missed it, guys. Entertainment area down there, TV. Nice. It's also air conditioning, so to keep cool on those hot days if you need to escape the heat for a little bit. So definitely, if you want, just uh, just lay out, maybe get some rest yes, while you're out somewhere. Mm -hmm. Is there no opening on the opposite side, Matt? Yes, there is. Uh, Max? Head over here. Oh, 
no, there's a head. Look at this, guys. Guys, 35 feet of ama amazingness. How deep? It's pretty deep in there, it's right? It's really deep, yeah, a lot of space, a lot of room. Can act as another changing area too if you need. So, so it looks like, it doesn't look like it's gonna have that much space, but it goes lower into the boat. We've maximized all areas of the boat for storage and just extra compartments. What's what's the fuel range and uh, capacity on something like so this? So this is a 185 gallon tank. Okay. So, and you know, we can we offer this boat in stern drive or outboards. We're obviously in the outboard model right now. So we have a couple different options, but great range, you know, full day on the water, full week weekend on the water so it kind of checks all the boxes what's up uh, here back here we haven't talked about this stuff yeah so we have an electric grill over here and we can we can do a sink as well um, refrigerator you know more storage so really nice summer kitchen so that takes that ultimate day boat kind of really to that, that next level I see you got a nice door here yeah, also a nice boarding door yep so this, this closes that way so again you know getting on and off a dock is very easy especially here at the show we also have a deployable ladder underneath here that can that can flip out so on the bottom there as yep. well nice dive ladder an additional ladder at the swim platform as well let's talk about this back back area here um, because this looks like a, an area that can be utilized to to lay out as well right yeah it is so we you know we have a nice nice walk through here to the platform so really good spacious area for a sun pad so you know if we're, if we're anchored somewhere i can i can i can look right that's there. the thumbnail right yep. now look let's see look right there that's the thumbnail right yeah, there yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what wait hold on let me go get the margarita yeah, give me a second max i'll be right back <laughs> so, so this is why this is why i wanted to see this boat this thing is amazing. So, all right. So, what's the beam on this guy? 1010. 1010. So it's 1010. It's about 37 feet in overall length. So, about 13.5 dry. So you're around, you know, 14,000 fully loaded with everything in here. What's the max capacity on engines that we can put on this guy? We can do triple 300s. We can do triple 350s. Uh, that's, that's all you need. So, it'll run top end around 61 miles an hour. 61? Yep. <laughs> I can get a facelift that fast. <laughs> What are you laughing like I need it? No, 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 Come no, on, Max. No, no. I won't see you no, in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> all right, guys. So, all right. So, where can they go? I, I, you said Bosom Marine is down here. Bosons oh. here, and they have their location in Graysonville. Okay. So, Alfred, are you going to go to Fort Lauderdale? I am. All right. So, we're going to be at the Fort Lauderdale boat show um, with with our dealer there, but we'll have pretty much the whole line up there. So, we'll have another 35 GT as well, and we're also going to be releasing a new model. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but we're going to have a. We'll talk off model. camera then. All right. All right. Sounds good. Af Sounds off good. camera, guys. Yep. You can tell me now. I'm off camera right now. <laughs> All right. Like All right, guys. So listen, I want to thank Max and Chris Craft over here at the Annapolis Boat Show. How's the, how's the boat show been so far? It's been great. It's been great. The weather's been beautiful. Lots of people talking to people, exciting about boating, and it's, uh, it's been great. So come check it out for yourself. All right, guys. Alfred Montaner, Max, Chris Craft, Bosons. We are out of here. Wow, what an amazing... Hey, I'll see you in Fort Lauderdale. Sounds good, my friend. We'll see ya.